Christopher Nolan, the man who brought us Memento, Inception, and the Dark Knight blockbuster Batman trilogy, has now set his sights on space with Interstellar. Set in what could be the not-too-distant future, it stars Matthew McConaughey, a farmer and former astronaut who's called upon to embark on a mission to save the world. You're the best pilot we ever had. I barely left the stratosphere. This team never left the simulator. We need a pilot, and this is the mission that you were trained for. Oh, without even knowing it? An hour ago, you didn't even know I was alive. I mean, you, you, you were going anyway. We had no choice. How long would I be gone? Hard to know. Years? I've got kids, Professor. Get out there and save them. And we are thrilled to have director, writer, and producer Chris Nolan with us this morning. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you for having me. It is a remarkable film. It, it, I feel like it's very rare these days to go to a theater and to feel like you're literally in a different place in a different time. It was truly an experience. Is that what you were hoping to achieve? Yeah, we really wanted the uh, intense audience experience. We mix the sound in a very unique way to, to really give the sense, you know, when a rocket takes off. Everything is really designed at making a really immersive experience, really people, making people feel like they're, they're on this journey with these characters. I have to tell you, as a mother, it moved me because it was unexpected and you felt this father's anguish and turmoil my husband's gonna kill me for saying this but he cried in the movie <laughs> because he really you really brought it home emotionally which is I would think a difficult thing to do in a, in a space fantasy well I'm sure your husband cried manly man tears of course you know, that's <laughs> quite allowable uh, you know the, the the movie is based on an emotional journey and you know there's a, there's a lot of extraordinary things happening in the film there's a big adventure we take you on but I really felt like the emotional story was was key and in the film instead of relying on a CGI or a green screen to portray some of these incredible images that astronauts mm. see from space, you worked with it uh to make it more fully realized. Tell me tell me what you did. We took the decision early on. Um, we didn't want to use any green screens. I wanted the actors to come sit down in the cockpit of the spaceship and be you know, in a simulator, not a set. So we put the real views outside the windows. We had ships that could react to the environment outside so they could really feel like they were flying them. Well, we have a lot of fans, GMA fans, who have posted questions for you on mm. our Instagram. So Krista wonders, after your films are released and well received by many, do you still find things that you wish you could change or do you watch it a year later and think, it's perfect? <laughs> it's not really about it being perfect. I try not to worry too much about what I would have done differently, what I could have done differently, because the truth is, it's an imperfect process. You do your best with the time you have, and I try not to look back too much. Christopher Nolan, thank you so much for joining us.